Hey folks, welcome back to Around the Yard. My name's Brent, and we're gonna get this Aaron's 28 Deluxe fired up. It's about four years old. Um, had this when we had a little less of a uh, little less of a property. Um, I'll scratch that. Try that a different way. Hey folks, welcome back to Around the Yard. My name's Brent, and uh, this morning here we're gonna get the uh, Aaron's Deluxe 28 track um, snowblower up and running. Um, we're gonna use this to cut some paths in the backyard. So I like to have um, basically a direct route from the back door of the house out to the shop here. Um, my wife likes to have a path from basically the back door of the house um, up at the breezeway all the way down to the chicken coops and her little sheds and stuff where she keeps the chicken feed and whatnot and then some uh, kind of some back and forth stuff i gotta cut a path in um, so we can get to the propane tank if need be and then just kind of a couple other little connecting spots here so over the last week or so uh, the twin cities has seen uh, eight to ten inches of snow we probably have a foot or better on the ground so uh, it kind of takes a little bit out of you i suppose so anyhow this seems to work pretty darn well in the past. Um, just figured I'd kind of give you guys the once over on it. Um, it's got a manual chute rotation. It's got, uh, what's it, five, six speeds forward, two speeds reverse, and then lever operated uh, chute control. So also has the heated hand grips, which yeah, they're kind of nice. Day like today, it's about zero, maybe a couple, couple degrees below zero so that helps um, this does have a plug-in electric start option um, the motor I'm not sure what this is it's it's got Aaron's tagging on it but um, it's a 12 and a half uh, torque foot foot pounds or something like that is what the what it's there we go all right so in addition to pull start here we've got um, Gas valve on and off, ignition on. This is the choke. The gray is the throttle. So once this thing fires up, you back off this red and then it's staying at high idle or high, high output. Um, and then down here, there's a red bulb, which is your primer for your carburetor. Um, I usually press this half a dozen times till we're leaking gas. And then, uh, know the know the carb is full and then there's a red button over here I got the lead plugged in
folks. So that's what that thing is capable of. Uh, 28 inch cut on tracks. Um, went around, went around to the back door, went up the hill. Um, no problem. Put it in reverse back down the hill. Didn't get uh, run over by it. Um, and it was able to kind of come down through the middle of the yard here. So that's kind of the loop that we make. Uh, I need to do a little cleanup, make one uh, path out to the shed here, out to the pole shed. And then uh, I like having one walking path up from this the side door here to the front um, where the wood piles are and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and cut that in off camera, but uh, we'll show you what we got, got accomplished when we're all done here. Um, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the the channel it really helps us out um, also please leave a comment down below let me know what you think of the Aaron's 28 inch deluxe um, I know they've changed the track design now they've got instead of the three-point kind of um, you know bogey wheels across the bottom and, and one upper riser I think it's more of a, a tire type track with one bogey wheel behind so a uh, little I think Aaron's is improving their design but for what I need, this works just great. Um, we got way too much driveway to, to even consider blowing it out with this thing. Uh, although it'd make kind of a fun uh, time lapse, probably take an hour, um, maybe someday. If you guys want that video, um, give me, uh, what, 10,000 likes or something? No. Um, anyhow, we're gonna get back to work here and uh, appreciate you watching. Um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks very much and have a great day around the yard.